everyone, hopefully by now you've already seen my other video which was the elf on the shelves coming to visit and I did mention I would be doing a video showing you how to make these cute little Easter baskets. So these ones are really tiny, they're the ones that my elves brought but they've brought me all of the ingredients to make my own so I'm going to make them a little bit bigger and if you would like to know how to make them please be sure to keep watching the video and I'll show you how. So to begin, you are going to need some chocolate. So here I have two bars of Galaxy chocolate. You can use any type, it really doesn't matter, but these are delicious, so I'm gonna stick with my Galaxy. You'll also need some shredded wheat cereal. When you have your shredded wheat, you need to shred it, so you want it to be into tiny little pieces, just like this. And this is two biscuits of shredded wheat, and that's probably about right with how much chocolate I'm going to use. If you want to make loads, you can go ahead and put tons of them in and use a little bit more chocolate. Now I've also here got some Cadbury's mini eggs. And these are just little chocolate eggs that look cute in the little baskets. You're also going to need some cupcake or muffin cases. So I have some Easter themed ones here. Now the first thing you're going to need is to get a saucepan and pop it onto your oven or your stove. And you may be able to see mine is right here. You want to pop a little bit of water in the bottom and then get a Pyrex dish. Now I've already melted my chocolate to make the video a little bit easier, but you pop your chocolate into your Pyrex dish, pop that dish into your pan and then ask a parent or guardian to help you because it does get very very hot and all you're going to do is turn the oven on and wait for your chocolate to melt. You will need to keep stirring it so you might want to ask a parent to help you. Once all of your chocolate has melted, you need to take it off there and just put it on your work surface. And now it's time to take your shredded wheat and pop it into your chocolate. Now I would say just to start off with a little bit of your shredded wheat and mix it together because you don't want to have too much shredded wheat and then it won't stick. So I'm going to do a little bit at a time but keep adding your shredded wheat into the mixture. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then once it's all mixed I'll show you the next step. Okay my mixture is all combined and it is pretty chocolatey so you can decide if you want to add a little bit more shredded wheat or if you want it pretty chocolatey. I like mine chocolatey so we're going to go with this and all I'm going to do I've popped some cupcake trays out here I'm just going to or cases even I'm just going to put some of the mixture into the cupcake cases so we'll just take another spoonful for this one and continue doing it to all of your cupcake cases. Now I've only put four out, oh that's going to drip, <laughs> I've only put four out but obviously if I have too much mixture I can just get a couple more. So we'll just pop that in, oh that's a big huge spoonful, <laughs> that's somebody getting a very big Easter nest. Oops. Oh, try not to make a mess like I am doing. <laughs> okay, we'll just pop you in there. Oh no, I'm making a big mess guys. But it's okay, I can clean it up. <laughs> and I think we need a little bit more in here. Okay, now I'm just going to show you on one because it'll take me way too long showing you on all of the different cupcake cases. So if I move this out of the way, and this one probably looks the best, so we'll just pick that one up and move it over here. All you're going to do is take the back of your spoon, my spoon has tons of chocolate on, and you're just going to mould it into the shape that you want. So I'm just making sure that it's on all of the sides, and just make it a little bit more even, if you can. I'm not doing a very good job at it right now. <laughs> okay, so once you have something like this, it's time to take your mini eggs. And I'm just opening up the packet and I'm going to take a few of these eggs and just pop them into my little Easter basket. I think three will do but I might add a couple of little tiny ones from the elves as well. So I'm being careful not to touch them. <laughs> okay and let's go for a little one here and I think that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll continue all of my cases, but this is just a quick way to show you how to make them yourself. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and leave me a comment letting me know what you think about these awesome cupcakes. <laughs> I'll see you soon guys. Bye!